Audi is a successful luxurious car brand. We all know this. There are many sporty and classy editions of this brand. Many aspire to buy one Audi in their life. Which one is your favorite? Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Newcomers, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for updates. Today, let's look through some luxurious cars manufactured by Audi. Which edition are we talking about? This array of vehicles has been in the market since 2003 and is the Audi R8. Let's go through the history of the Audi R8. Audi Le Mans Quattro 2003 Audi Le Mans Quattro, the concept car developed by the German automobile manufacturer Audi, was presented at the 2003 Frankfurt Motor Show. Following the Pikes Peak Quattro and the Nouveau Lari Quattro, this R8 is the final. Let's talk about the specs. 449 kW is the power produced. Now, talking about the torque provided, it's 750 Nm. A 5.0 liter DOHC twin turbocharged TFSI V10 engine is the car's signature. This car speeds up to 0 to 100 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds. Do you want to know the top speed? The Le Mans Quattro top to a rate of 214 miles per hour. Audi R8 Type 42 2006. Fabulous. This is how we can describe this attempt by Audi. It's a sports car, but not a true sports car. A significant engine of 4.2 liter V8 type, an aluminum monocoque made under the principles of the space frame. Jet blue is the color, the front curve of the front wings of Novolari Quattro GT, and the 20-inch wheels are some of the unique features. Power is everything for a car. A rated power of 602 horsepower and 553.17 pound-feet of torque is what 2006 is all about. Other features are single-frame radiator grills, aluminum sports suspension with magnetic ride shock absorbers, and dark interior colors. Aluminum and carbon lower the car's weight. This R8 variety was introduced to the public in January 2006 at the 2006 Paris Motor Show. The engine is a 32-valve petrol engine with the fuel stratified injection technique. Another important fact is that this car can send up to 70% of its power to the rear wheels and 30% to the front. This 4.2-liter V8 R8 did a 0 to 60 mph sprint in just 4.0 seconds in the manual version, whereas in the automatic version it was 4.3 seconds. Audi R8 2008 Starting with the engine, the Audi R8 carries a V12 turbo diesel that will give out 500 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque. A premium mid-engine, all-wheel drive sports car that is how R8 evolved in 2008. The 2008 R8 is nearly 5 inches longer than the Lamborghini Gallardo, which shares some standard technology. The 2008 Audi R8 has many options such as upgraded leather, navigation, parking sensors, and Olufsen audio. Audi R8 TDI 2008 In January, the initial presentation to the public was at the 2008 North American International Auto Show. This car has got a few changes. The engine produces 493 bhp power at 4000 rpm and coming to the torque 738 pound-feet at 1750 to 3000 rpm is pretty decent. Audi's Quattro permanent four-wheel drive system and six-speed manual transmission are used in TDI 2. 4.2 seconds is taken to accelerate this car from 0 to 62 mph and it can reach a top speed of 186 mph. In May 2009, Audi decided to halt the possible production of the R8 TDI due to uncontrollable cost and they needed to figure out the sales too. Audi R8 e-tron 2009 2009 Frankfurt Motor Show is when the public witnessed Audi e-tron. One of the most noteworthy automobiles to emerge out of Frankfurt was the Audi R8 e-tron concept car. A complete attention-seeking model, this car has no engine. Yes, we'll come into that. This car's heart is a spunky lithium-ion battery that runs entirely off the electrical energy. The 313 HP e-tron concept car made Audi a green relevant company. But this car was less impressive than hyper-hybrids like the Porsche 918 Spyder or McLaren P1 in terms of performance. The e-tron Spyder was launched at the 2010 Paris Motor Show. Unfortunately, by 2013, Audi stopped the production of the e-tron series due to future losses. Audi R8 GT Spyder 2011 After e-tron, it was a breakthrough coming back for the Audi R8 series with the all-new Audi R8 GT Spyder. 560 HP trimmed a whole 187.39 pounds from an already low weight making this car freely flow. 
The Audi R8 GT Spider accelerates from 0 to 62.14 mph in just 3.8 seconds, and the top speed is 196.97 mph. Audi Ultra Lightweight Technology made GT a 3,615.58 pound fantastic car. The whole body assembly is done by hand in the R8 workshop at the Nickarsome plant. This car is the best choice for highway cruising. Its electro-hydraulic drive brings it up or down in 19 seconds, even at speeds of up to 31.07 mph. Audi R8 V10 Plus 2012 The R8 Coupe is available with a 4.2-liter V8 engine with a power of 420 HP, and another option is a 5.2-liter V10. The V10 puts 560 HP in the R8 GT. Lamborghini Gallardo uses the same V10 engine. Not a coincidence, it seems. Most notable is the upgradation in power. Now, 560 HP compared to 525 HP of the later version. Another thing is the colors available. One such is metallic orange. The CTPA model engine tops the speed of 198 mph. The torque is 540 Nm at 6500 RPM. We cannot move on without saying the power is about 550 HP at 8000 RPM. Audi R8 Coupe 2015 The 2015 Audi R8 is the 420 horsepower 4.2 liter V8 powered coupe, a 525 horsepower 5.2 liter V10 powers coupes and spiders as well. They include navigation and real-time traffic, an excellent audio system and Bluetooth with audio streaming. The cargo space is smaller compared to the passenger space, which is quite lavish. The gas mileage is a disappointment. It excited power from the 5.2 liter V10 by 25 HP total and cut its 0 to 60 mph time to 3.5 seconds. Top speed checks in at about 197 mph. Audi R8 RWS 2017 While most supercars evolved from rear-wheel drive to all-wheel drive, the R8 took the opposite path. Behind the two-seat cabin, Audi installed the naturally aspirated 5.2-liter V10 engine that produced 540 HP. It was paired with a 7-speed automatic dual-clutch gearbox. The electronic stability control featured a particular drift function. The International Motor Show Germany 2017 was when the Audi R8 RWS was introduced. Talking about the chassis is specialized for controlled drifts. Audi R8 Coupe 2018 Audi made a few changes to the 2018 R8 edition. This has reduced the power a bit, but kept the acceleration rate stable. Other than that, the R8 receives a host of other updates for 2018, not least of which is the addition of the 602 horsepower R8 Spider V10 Plus and a new entry-level rear-wheel drive V10 RWS model. The provided torque is 398 Nm at 6500 RPM. Audi R8 LMS GT2 2019 Equipped with a robust 5.2-liter V10 engine, the Audi R8 LMS GT2 packs 630 horsepower and an incredible 550 newton meters of torque. It weighs only 2,976 pounds before you start adding fluids. The canards, mirrors, and roof scoop also come finished in black to create what is arguably one of the most attractive modern race cars we've seen lately. Audi chose the 2019 edition as the perfect occasion to pull the wraps off Audi Sport's latest creation. Audi R8 Green Hell 2020 The Audi R8 Green Hell is unique, limited run version of the German Marquis supercar. The R8 Green Hell is designed to pay tribute to the R8 LMS GT car. Beneath the new styling elements, the R8 Green Hell is mechanically unchanged from the R8 performance. It uses the same 620 HP, naturally aspirated, 5.2 liter V10 petrol engine, to a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox and quattro all-wheel drive system. It posts a 0 to 100 kph time of 3.1 seconds and a top speed of 331 kph. Audi R8 Halo Car 2021 The 2021 R8 is Audi's Halo Car. Audi has introduced real-wheel drive on the 532 horsepower entry-level versions of the Coupe and Spider. This setup replaces last year's base offerings, which came with a 562 HP V10 and all-wheel drive. Now, getting all-wheel drive is the more expensive and powerful R8 performance model, which makes 602 horses. The R8's 7-speed dual-clutch automatic isn't precisely the smoothest gearbox. If you want to know, the R8's fuel economy of 13 mpg in the city and 20 on the highway are so low.
Audi R8 Spider 2022. The base, rear-wheel drive gets a power boost from 532 HP, 398 pound-feet, to 562 HP, 406 pound-feet. The now-called Audi R8 Spider V10 performance is its title itself. It's unbelievable that the Audi R8 has been around since 2006, but now it's in its latest version, the 2022 Audi R8 Spider undoubtedly is one of the most capable sports car. So that's the whole lineage of the Audi R8. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do remember to like this video. Which one of the discussed Audis do you think is the best? Do share your answers in the comments box below. We'll be back again with other exciting kinds of stuff. Till then, bye bye